Tottenham 4-4, four, four, Everton nil. And that is, I'm going to say, our best performance for a whole 90 minutes under Ange Postacoglu. And that's why I backed my manager. Um, faultless, faultless, except for Brennan Johnson, who was Brennan Johnson. Um, I cannot complain, except for it should have been eight. Um, eight or nine even. We absolutely tore him a new one. Faultless, um, from back to front. Uh, Bakara made was very quiet, but he made one key save um, at 2-0 just after half-time, which could have changed the game, but it didn't. He made the save. Um, Pedro Porro, Mickey van der Ven, and Christian Romero were excellent. Destiny Adogi, quiet, but still building up to match fitness, had to come off with cramp, I believe, which, fingers crossed, it's cramp. Um, Basuna, Basuma came back into the side after his one-match ban through Spurs, um, was excellent. Madison was okay. Kulu, excellent. Um, Odebert started, excellent. Some through the middle, excellent. Many of you will be surprised to hear that, me being the sun hater that I am. Um, but I will give credit where it's due. Son Shumin was excellent today, and excellent through the nine. Um, so yeah, credit where it's due, he was brilliant. Um, Johnson, the only cross on the, uh, on the match card. He was not good today, he was poor. Poor, poor, poor throughout. Uh, let's get into the game. Um, Spurs could have been three 0 up inside five minutes. Let's be real. Uh, Romero had a great chance, saved. Um, Madison one on one, saved by Pickford, and Johnson missed a free header. Um, so we could have been three 0 up, but then we capitalised on that early pressure. We got the goal, and the goal came through Basuma. His first for Spurs. Um, nice intricate play through the middle, got laid off to Basuma on the edge of the box and he's just whipped it into the top corner off the crossbar, Spurs took the lead, deservedly so. Um, carried on much more um, and we got that second goal which, been, which we were crying out for at Leicester. Um, a horrendous error from Jordan Pickford must be said. Um, Son closed him down and tell you what, our pressing, pressing this season, sorry, for this game was uh, incredible best we pressed in a long long time and it's great to see um son nicks the ball of pickford and rolls it into an empty net for two nil um then very much the first half kind of uh, mellowed down a bit we kind of <laughs> calmed it down decided to try and conserve energy and yeah um we've done that got into half time reevaluated. obviously everything we're going to come out a different side they did they put a little bit of pressure on um then about 65 minutes um Cucci romero from a set piece um from a corner Headed home off the bar again. Um, he was excellent today, I felt Romero. Kept the clean sheet as well, which we've been crying out for. Um, so yeah, three nil. And um, the fourth goal, probably the pick of the bunch. Um, well, I can't really say that with Basuma's goal. But um, Mickey van der Ven takes the ball, gets those long, long legs going, pumps down the middle of the pitch, lays it off to Son, good first touch and fires it through the legs of Jordan Pickford to make it four nil. Um, and that's that, 4-0 uh, job done. We will learn more about where we will be as a side, obviously after the transfer window, but more importantly, in our next two games, obviously Newcastle away next week where I will be there. Gonna have to drive now, my train's been canceled. Cheers, LNER. Um, and then of course, after the international break, the North London derby. Um, Arsenal playing in about half an hour or so away at Villa, that won't be easy for them, but Spurs, really really showed what they're about this season against a very let's say again a very poor Everton side a very weakened Everton side but you can only beat what's in front of you at the end of the day um, Spurs very much deserving of the points very much deserving um, of um, applause from the fans today um, I felt we were excellent played them off the park and now we can only move on to Newcastle next week and hopefully a similar performance and result it's about time we stuck one on them up there. We've had a good record the past uh, few years, apart from the last two, where we've been absolutely smoked. Let's hope we go up there, put a display in for the long traveling fans that are gonna be traveling up there that deserve a very good performance and a very good result. Let's hope we get it. I will see you next week at St. James's Park. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Daigle's not here, so I'll give you my one. Support the team, not the regime. Up the Spurs.